I own pretty much nothing and I make about $40,000 per month. Now in this video we're talking about profit. I run two companies and the revenue of the two companies is definitely more than 40,000 per month. We're just talking about profit. Now a second point to mention is that I have optimized my tax in a way where I do get to pocket most of that money, which is something not a lot of people talk about, but it is really, really important once you start to make, in my opinion, at least 10K a month, you really do need to start looking at how to reduce your tax burden, because it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep. So I would call myself a minimalist entrepreneur, meaning that I don't own many material possessions. You can see my suitcase right here in the back, and I have one backpack. So everything I own can fit into this suitcase right here, and one backpack. So I'm gonna break down with you some of the reasons as to why I choose to live this lifestyle with not a whole bunch of things and I'm also gonna give you an example of what this actually looks like so right now I'm recording on an iPhone we've got a ring light behind this we've got a microphone right here I've got my laptop a mini laptop stand and that's pretty much it for my equipment I do have a second phone a speaker and another pair of headphones that's pretty much it when it comes to the technology that I have I don't actually have a big fancy camera I shoot all my content just on an iPhone of course I have clothes I've multiple pairs of shoes. I've multiple t-shirts some fancy some not so fancy Of course, I've got pants shorts all that kind of thing. But that's pretty much it That's all I need now on to the good bit. Why do I choose to live this life? So I first got exposed to minimalism back in about 2016 or 2017 I spent two months of a summer in Mexico volunteering and a few months later I actually went to Singapore as part of my college studies where I spent five months in Asia and for both those trips, I didn't bring a whole lot of things because I didn't want to have to bring around a big, big suitcase. I wanted to be able to fit everything into a backpack. So that's pretty much what I did. I had my laptop, I had my phone, I had a camera, but everything else just fit into a backpack that I had with me. Now I will say I was very much inspired by the backpacker culture in Asia where again, people would literally have everything they needed on their back. And of course, in such a hot climate, you don't actually need many clothes. You just need to make sure that you have, you know, five or six t-shirts, a few tank tops and that you have somewhere where you can wash those because they're obviously going to get very sweaty very quickly. Now this lifestyle does bring me a lot of peace. If I need to move and when I need to move, I'm literally packed to move in a day or two, it's pretty easy for me to do that. You know, I don't have to hire a van or a truck to help me move. I can just hop on a flight and I've got everything I need. So it means that I'm very mobile, I'm very flexible, I can go where I need to go and I don't need to plan things out. So it saves me a lot of stress. Now another big, big reason is when you have lots of things, you tend to place a lot of importance on those things, okay? So for example, a lot of the things that I would have left and gotten rid of are things that, you know, I would have had and they just take up space and clutter and... I know people get sentimental with items, but what I noticed was when I removed those items, I wasn't sentimental about them anymore. So I was sentimental about the items when I had them, but then once I got rid of them, it didn't matter. I would rather be sentimental about the memories and the people I meet than an object. This is my opinion. Now, on the flip side, I will say that there are times where I'm like, I would want to buy things and I want to have space to put those things. So for example, I used to play drums. I haven't played in years. And a big thing for me is obviously I can't bring a drum kit or a drum set with me. So when the time comes and I'm more settled and I have one place that I stay in for a very long time, I will buy some things. So it's not gonna be a completely bare minimal apartment. There are gonna be things, but they're gonna be things that I actually use. Things that give me joy, things that give me utility, things that make me more productive, positive things. I certainly won't be buying an Xbox, that's for sure. Being a minimalist actually helps me get more work done, it helps me be more productive, and it helps me focus on what I need to focus on, because I don't have too many distractions. There's not many things I can pick up and do in my apartment because I don't have that many things. So it forces me to focus on good things. Maybe it's reading, maybe it's just spending time, doing some yoga on the rooftop, or it's working. So I can I can focus and I can channel my energy into those productive things very easily because there's just not many distractions. Now, I am not a hardcore minimalist. And in fact, labeling myself as a minimalist is probably incorrect. I have minimalistic tendencies. You know, and it sounds pretty cool. You know, you see lots of people doing it. Shout out Alex Becker and a bunch of other self-improvement, self-development guys here on YouTube. But it does have some downfalls. Like I said, you know, there are times where you want to have more space and have more things. But all in all, for me, it worked out pretty good. And it just goes to show you that to make a good amount of money, whatever that is for you, it could be 10K a month, it could be 100K a month, you really don't need things. 
You just need to have the focus to be able to work on your business or businesses productively and to move the needle forward. You don't need extra fancy things. They are nice to have, of course, but they also are a distraction. Let me just give you an example, right? I do not own a car right now. Now, I will tell you there are times where I'm like, damn, I should just get a car, right? Because it would make my life easier in many, many regards. But on the flip side, it would also add a lot of stress and unnecessary stress to my life. I'd have to pay extra money, right? And it's not about the money that you pay for insurance and tax and fuel. It's about the time that you spend doing those things, driving to the petrol station, getting your car serviced every month, like all those things, they do add up and they do take time away from your focus. So for me right now, not having those things that would be nice and would be awesome and would actually improve my life may actually you know, degrade my lifestyle as well, because again, they would suck a lot of my time and energy. So guys, should you be a minimalist? You have to answer that for yourself. I just wanted to make this video to show that you don't need lots of things to make a decent amount of money. And most people, when they start making a decent amount of money, they buy things, they accumulate. So that's typically how it happens. You might not have much, then you make money, then you have lots of things. And what you see a lot of people doing, especially here on YouTube, is if they go through that journey, right, they will buy loads of things and they're making lots of money. But they get to a point where they realize, okay, the material things don't actually bring me happiness. It doesn't bring me fulfillment. And then they do a 180 and they get rid of all the things. They sell their house, sell their cars, sell all their material possessions, and they move into a minimal apartment. Again, shout out to Alex Becker. That's kind of the journey he went on and I've seen it happen with a lot of other people. So there you go. If you want more videos like this, talking more about my lifestyle, you know, in this video, I didn't really tell you anything about how I make money, how I run my businesses or the strategies that work, just more about me. If you want more of that content, do let me know. And if you want more straight to the point business content, I'm cool with that as well. Just let me know below. Appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you soon.